All right, uh, let's look at the homework 10, uh, problem number 10. All right, so we have uh, some sort of uh, uh, region here, and we want to approximate the area. And uh, the measurements are given in this table, all right? So we're going to use the left sum with the 10. So you have uh, 11 uh, measurements here. All right, so uh, let's uh, do that. So I'm going to use a GeoGebra so I don't have to do it by hand. All right, so in this case, it uh, looks like a measurement is done, taken every 100 feet. So delta X is going to be 100. So I'm going to just put uh, multiply by um, 100. All right. Then this is a left sum, so we're going to use the uh, left endpoint to uh, to determine the height. So in this case, we're going to start with uh, a zero, right? So first one height is zero, All right? The second rectangle is going to have a height of 191, and the third one 239, and the fourth one 252 plus uh, 268. So you keep on doing that, and we have n of those, so 298, hopefully I'm typing stuff uh, incorrectly. Uh, so 400 is the next. Next one is uh, 450, 55, and uh, I'm going to see, right? And uh, last one is 501, right? So since, the, since um, it's the left sum, we just use the first one all the way to the uh, tenth one, right? So, uh, so I think we have everything in there, right? So I'm gonna hit enter, all right? So this is the answer here, all right? So let's uh, let's uh, type it in, all right? All right, I'm gonna just uh, put it in there, all right? All right, so this is the value. So let's check the answer, all right? So we got that. All right, and uh, we want to find the error bound for the above estimate. All right, so error bound, uh, in this case, uh, uh, the graph is uh, gradual, I mean, it's uh, always uh, increasing, right? So the, the width is getting larger and larger and larger. All right, the, the error bound is going to be uh, delta x, uh, which is 100, times the difference between the highest point and uh, the lowest point, right? So uh, the difference between the highest point, so highest point is 550, so you have a 550, and a minus lowest point is zero. So it's actually, I have to do a computation here, so it's gonna be 55,000, right? So let's check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, and the part C, uh, how many subdivisions of the baseline would be uh, required so the error incurred in um, left sum would be uh, would not exceed 5,000 square feet? All right. So we need to uh, we, uh, we're going to look at that. All right. Uh, so remember that the delta x uh, is going to be uh, let's see the length of the interval is uh, 1,000 to zero, so it's going to be 1,000 right and divided to uh, into n sub intervals so divide by n so that will be uh, delta x right so the error is going to be bounded by so error right is going to be bounded by right so delta x uh, so here Multiply by the difference between the highest point and the lowest point that uh, that's going to be 550 Right, so this is going to be uh, let's see 55 a hundred thousand Divide by n right and so this is going to be we want this to be less than uh, Does not equal less than or equal to uh, 5000 Right so first thing we would do is, uh, since we need to solve for n, um, I would uh, take the reciprocal of both sides. So we have a n over uh, 550,000, and uh, it's going to be 1 over 5,000. Then since we took the reciprocal of both sides, we have to change the direction of the inequality. 
All right, then after that, we can just simply multiply both sides by 550,000. So n it has to be greater than or equal to 550,000 divided by 5,000. All right, so this is going to be, let's see, uh, can cancel three zeros, three zeros, and divide by five, uh, it's going to be 110. Right, so uh, we want that to be uh, greater than or equal to 110. So let's type it in. All right, so we have um, 110. All right, let's check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.